In your health today, we're asking the question, are men and women's brains really wired differently? Joining us with some answers is Dr. Sabrina Favi. All right, Dr. Favi, I would like in my head to say yes, which would explain so many things about the two gentlemen I work with every day. <laughs> we have to read men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Yeah, right? <laughs> What are we talking about here? Is this true? It is actually true. I mean, we've always kind of known that um, men are more left-sided or left hemisphere dominant in that the left side of the brain is usually more responsible for logical thinking, not that women can't be logical, but also for spatial tasks and better hand-eye coordination. And in a recent study done in 2013 in Pet Pen, what they basically evaluated was different brains, a thousand different brains, both men and women equally divided. And what they found was that the pathways in the brain, the way that the brain connects with each other, basically in men, it's left-sided dominant and it's front and back. So it's essentially, the brain is communicating in men from the front to the back, where in women, it goes from one side to the other. So and we're we're essentially connecting our, I've always heard, you know, your left brain and your right brain, you want them to like cross or something, right? You're like, um, your different sides of your brains are good to work both sides, correct? Right, and ours naturally go from one side or the other. So not saying that that's better necessarily, or maybe I am, but basically <laughs> what that meant is that we're able to basically communicate better and, a and able to communicate analytical thinking better. Where men may be able to focus on one thing at hand, and that doesn't necessarily make them the best multitaskers, but it really makes them really good at uh, coordinating with their muscle. And that's probably the reason why they do better at sports sometimes. And so, but in a different study that was done in Tel Aviv, where they examined over a thousand brains and actually looked at MRI scans to determine if it's just that, if it's just the way that the brain, the, if, the way that it connects, the pathways in the brain, if that's all that really mattered. They looked at the gray matter in brains. And what they found was that if they looked at 116 areas of gray matter in brains, both men and female they found that the gray matter in let's just say just men or just women didn't necessarily just have male zone or just have female zones. Six out of the 100 brains analyzed may have just been one gender, but hmm. otherwise there's usually a good mix. Men have some feminine traits and females also have some more masculine traits in the brain or gray matter. And when they actually broke it down further to look at different characteristics or personality traits, again, only 98% of those brains showed that you showed a mix of both masculine and feminine traits. Only 2% right. were strictly one gender dominant. Interesting. So is there anything we can do to sort of increase what you're talking about, those pathways in our brain to like make Andrew's head go a little bit more right and maybe my head go a little <laughs> bit more left? <laughs> well, that's exactly what my interest was when I was looking at this data. The more important thing with this data is that it may actually help us with future uh, research as far as why men may get or be more prone uh, to autism and women are more prone to Alzheimer's and also the hormonal effects that actually have on brain development. But I was thinking to myself, could I potentially work out the left side of my brain more mm -hmm. so that I could be more logical and, uh, and be as also intuitive as well with my right side of my brain. We don't have that data yet, but I do believe that having an understanding of the highways of the brain or the way that the brain is circuited may be able to help us work out our brain just like we work out our muscles. Yeah, no doubt. Dr. Fabi, great um, discussion. Really interesting. Appreciate it. I'm always still a big believer of men are from Mars. Period. Men are from Mars. I think that's from Period. Send them back. Which is not even a planet anymore. <laughs>